guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today with a quick double bonus upload for you guys because I just had to share my fantasy roster for CRL World Finals. Now, I've already kind of selected my players or at least narrowed it down, and I wanted to share it with you guys. But more importantly, this is a, uh, you know, this is kind of a big moment in Clash Royale. This is the first time that Supercell has made emotes available through a special event or special occasion, I guess in this case, to pure free-to-play players, which I'm a big fan of because most of my viewers are free-to-play and I think it's really cool that they're giving emotes and the emotes are pretty solid. So all you guys have to do to get the free me emotes is just enter in and choose a fantasy team. You don't necessarily have to win. Of course, if you win, you get gems and other prizes. So guys, let's go ahead and check out the tab here and you'll see, you probably already saw this in game. It went live a couple hours ago. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. So gain free emotes. Let's just heart this. Who can complain about free emotes and possibly winning a part of 1 million gems? What? So let's find out more. Click the play now button. This is not in your news tab. It's in your eSports news tab. It's not hard to find, but geez, it's a Wi-Fi issue or maybe it's millions of people signing up to get their free emotes all at the same time. Guys, this is a good time to announce, I guess, that I will actually be there live in Tokyo as an analyst as part of the CRL World Finals. So I'll make sure to sneak in some fantasy updates uh, when we're live on stream just for you guys, my loyal subscribers and viewers. So pick your lineup, build your fantasy uh, Clash Royale deck by selecting four CRL World Finals players. Free emotes will be added to your emote deck a few hours after you selected your lineup. Sounds easy enough to me. Uh, follow the action and rack up the crowns. A crown will be added to your score for every crown your player earns in the CRL World Finals. So the big takeaway here, guys, claim your gems. The participants with the most crowns at the end of the World Finals get to split a share of one million gems. Now, I want to win those gems, so I'm really going to try here. I don't know, knock on wood that I'm not going to finish like horribly last, but you have to pick players who are good from teams who are also good, who you think will go all the way to the finals, right? So for that reason, I'm going to be very careful. This is the whole roster, guys. I'm not going to talk about every player, but I do know a lot about these teams. Now, no offense to CRL Asia, and I could definitely eat crow on this one, but King's Own Dragon X, although they came on really strong at the end of the season, and I do think that uh, Expo Master is their best player by a long shot. So if you want to go with someone from CRL uh, Asia, I would go with Expo Master. I would say their second best player is definitely Big Daddy. I talked to Chizen a little bit about the, you know, the team, the overall roster. So that would be the two best players, at least in his opinion, and therefore my opinion, in in, uh, on King Zone Dragon X. However, King Zone Dragon X actually made the playoffs with a losing uh, record in the regular season. So for that reason, not going to be selecting a player just because, you know, they could very well make the finals. They could prove me wrong, but they're not going to get my money here. Now, Nova, much better bet. Carnage is going to be kind of a wild card because he did not play during the regular season for Nova. He flew out there during the very end of the playoffs. So... AU is, LCOP is traditionally their best player, but AU was the MVP of all of CRL China. He's a really, really good player, as is Legend and Little Chen. But I'm actually going to go ahead and take AU. I want to use AU because AU just played better than LCOP this season in CRL China, and I want to go with a recency bias when selecting my team. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and take AU. He's a really, really good player, and he actually just changed his name to AUK. Just an editing note for you guys. So Ponos has a really good team, but they actually wouldn't have made the CRL World Finals if they did not get the home field uh, advantage. I'm not going to go in depth explaining that, but suffice it to say, they did not win at the end of CRL Asia, King Zone Dragon. Dragon X actually won, but because it's in place in Japan, they made it as one of the six teams in the World Finals, and they also had the best record in the regular season. So they're definitely a really good team, and if I was to pick a player, I would definitely take Orange Boy, aka Mikin Buya, at the top right. He's a really good player, but I'm not going to. I really want to focus on Team Queso here. I'm going to go with, here's the issue, right? All of them are really good, right? All, all five of these players, it's tough to, you can make a good argument on all of them, but Kuchiku is so good, as well as St. Belican and Soaking. These three players, really, it's almost a coin flip at who is going to come out with the most crowns. Kuchiku, 11-2 record in the regular season. Soaking, 13-3. And St. Belican, 12-6. He has the worst record of the three, 
but arguably he could be the best the, the best of the three when it comes down to fundamentals. It's really a question of who Team Kaisto is going to rely on the most in 1v1s. Who's going to get the most reps? Who's going to play the most, right? So it's really a coin, a coin flip and a bit of a crapshoot. I think I'm going to go with... Oh, it's so tough, guys. I chose St. Belican off air, but now I'm kind of, I'm torn between all three of these guys. I think I'm going to stick with my original pick and go with, oof. I'm going to go with Soaking. I'm going to switch things up. The only reason is because Soaking has the most live event experience, and that is a key factor here. With all the bright lights, and it's going to be an amazing production, guys. Let me tell you, I've seen a little bit of it in pre-production meetings. I'm going to go with the players who have a lot of live event experience. So that's why I'm going to go with Soaking there. Now, Vivo Keed, I I'm not going to go with these guys either because I don't know a lot about them. But I would definitely go with Javi if I was to choose one. So that brings me back all the way up to the Immortals, who I kind of skipped over at the beginning. So you can see my roster so far, AU and Soaking. I'm definitely going to go with, uh, with Royal. I think Royal is probably the best player in the world they're certainly one of the top three so i think that the safest pick out of all these guys is probably royal and then the rest comes down to do you think immortals has what it takes to get to the finals or to potentially win me personally i think that the favorites are probably eu na in china so nova immortals and queso but I, I, you know, I'm going to go with a home team here, and I'm going to go with a huge, ah, I can't go with Carnage. He's a wild card. Carnage might be the guy you want to go with, but I'm actually going to fill out my roster with Elsiop because I do think that Elsiop will play a lot for Nova Esports. So my final roster is going to be AUK, Soaking, Royal, and Elsiop. Guys, what do you think? What are your rosters look like? Please let me know in the comments below who your four players are and feel free to copy mine. But again, guys, if you want to switch things up, I think I gave you a pretty good preview of the players. Obviously, Ah Crap and Oh Yeah, really, really good players. But if I was to pick a second, I think I would go with the God RF from Immortals just to kind of give you a, a final rundown on the players. And Expo Master, I talked about Expo Master and Big Daddy. July is really good too, but I would probably go Big Daddy over him. And then and, uh, I would actually probably, uh, I would stick with the safe bets from Nova because I'm not sure who they're going to run out there every single match. I'm not sure how often they're going to use Carnage and Legend and Little Chen. Little Chen, probably the safest next bet here, but I'd still go with probably Elsiop and uh, AU first. Mick and Booyah. Whew. Man, this whole team is stacked, dude. Mick and Booyah, Fuchi, Reiki Jones, Rolla Perone, and Ten God. Ten God is amazing, especially 2v2, but it's hard to say who would be the next best in terms of 1v1. In the playoffs, they went with Reiki Jones for 1v1, so it's too tough to say, though. And then, again, Team Queso. I don't know. If you wanted to mix things up, guys, I would maybe throw in St. Belican for Elsiop if you didn't want to go with Elsiop as the, uh, the fourth choice there. So I guess that would be my second favorite roster. Anyway, guys, I'm blabbing on here. I'm rambling. I'm really passionate about this, obviously, and I just can't wait to see what things, uh, what happens at the end of CRL in the big final conclusion in the World Finals. I will see you guys there if you tune into the stream. I'll include a link to the YouTube channel where it will all be streamed clash royale esports in the description below hopefully you guys tune in on december 1st again live on the youtube channel so guys that's gonna do it best of luck get those free emotes and best of luck in your fantasy draft really excited that they did this it gives us a rooting interest in addition to just rooting for the teams in the crl world finals so guys that's gonna do it huge shout out to stats royale and bren chong my youtube uh sponsors partners whatever they are they mean a lot to me and you should check them out stats royale certainly an amazing website to go for player stats in and uh, records and decks that they're currently using and best challenge decks. And of course, Bren Chong, the guy who does so much for the Clash Royale community globally. And he also had a really, really good showing in Bren Esports and CRL Asia. They just narrowly missed winning CRL Asia to King, uh, King Zone Dragon X. So guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, guys.